For Hurricane Harvey is now right along the coast of Texas, and I can tell you right now, heavy rain is falling. The water is rising. There is the potential for tornadoes as these rain bands move on shore. We can look at the forecast track, and it's really disheartening for the people of Texas. This hurricane is not going to move very quickly. And because it's such a slow mover, there's going to be a lot of rain. I mean, we're talking 20, 25, 35, even 40 inches of rain possible because look, here it is making landfall. Here it is Sunday. Here it is Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday hardly moving at all. And I want you to notice we've had rain bands move on shore and in those rain bands, the potential for tornadoes and locally heavy rain. So they, uh, now it's a category four. It has just been updated. I'm gonna get that in just a second. Now a category four hurricane, gosh, making landfall. Uh, it's really upsetting to see that major eye moving on shore. So on this right side, six to 12 foot storm surge, it could be higher than that with a category four hurricane. And this is a large hurricane. When you see this eye getting larger, that tells you this hurricane is actually getting larger. It's maybe 24 miles offshore. That's from the center of the system. Air Force Reconnaissance flew in. They found that that pressure is dropping. Here is a look at that eye. Monster hurricane moving on shore and then it's not going to move much. We can look at these rain bands. That's where you're going to have that water already pushing on shore with the potential for tornadoes. So we can look at these forecast models and you know what? It's showing it's hardly moving. There is a look going in then just to the coast. So real quickly, European model keeping it over Texas, keeping it over Texas for Tuesday, keeping it over Texas for Thursday, and then it begins to swing it to the north. In a moment, I'll show you the global forecast model, which shows staying over Texas through Saturday.